Guiding Gamer. Today I have a little bit of a showcase video for you on a instant combination lock that I have created. This is the instant combination lock and this is the output for it. There's four inputs and only if the right combination of buttons are activated the output will be on. As you can see this does not work, not work, every one of them doesn't work, you can reset it, it doesn't flash on when you're resetting it, that's the little reset button. So for this uh, particular door the code is 1010 and then when I press this button you can see that it is in fact instantaneous and you can draw an output from up here, anything from this one right here. Okay, and then there's a reset button down here. So how does this work? And is it expandable? Yeah, it's you can expand it forever. It will still be instant instantaneous. You could have five digits, six digits, you name it. It works through these um, basically instant inverters that I have turned into instant RS null latches. Um, Yeah, and over here I have a, a instant inverter here and I can show you exactly what it does. It inverts the signal and I can also show you that it is in fact uh, instantaneous and the way I can show you this is if I place a torch here, which is just an inverter, and then take a signal from over here and then we can just use like something like a lamp and a lamp here. If you notice both of them when I flick it on you will see that in fact this one turns off before this one and it also turns on slightly faster be than this one. So it is indeed faster than a normal torch and that is basically all that this is. So I'm gonna show you the way you can build it. So you wanna start with um, two redstone dust on two blocks then you want to go one down uh, on a diagonal from either end, depending on what way you build it. Put redstone dust on that. Then you want to grab a piston, put a piston on it, put a solid block on the front of that piston. Go to the side from the redstone dust under the piston, go one block up on a diagonal and place two blocks. Fill those two blocks with redstone dust. And now you want to build from the bottom one here, you want to build one, two, and then one up like this so you create a little bit of a shape here. You want to place redstone dust here and here. Then you want to grab a repeater here and put it on two ticks. Place a redstone block so it powers the redstone dust that is exposed here. And then place a piston facing down into that redstone block. And then you can power it from behind and there you go. Hey, that's an instant inverter and you can build them facing both directions one thing that is uh, worth noticing here is that uh, you can't use the block itself as the output because once you power this and you uh, remove the connection uh, from these two dots this becomes a line so what I mean by that is obviously the output is off but this is uh, weak powering this block and therefore it is powering this lamp. So it has to be taken from like on above or you can extend the signal that works too. Oh right. And also Yeah, like that. Okay, then I wanna show you uh the instant latches that I've made here. So um this is just a standard RS null latch really. If I make a RS null latch here, it is even the same. Structurally speaking, it is a hundred percent the same. Uh, so, what does this consist of? Well, it consists of two uh, inverters that are powering each other uh, with a repeater going into either one of them. 
and the function of it is that you can set and you can reset. Set either one and reset the other one, but only exclusively that order. And so if you look at this, just from like a perspective here, all we have here is that we have, on this side we have a torch, on this side we have a torch, but these are instant inverters or instant torches. And then we have a repeater on either side, which are instant repeaters, which just repeat the signal instantaneously. And it does the exact same function. It sets the signal and now it's set, you can't set it again. And then over here, it sets the signal and now it's set, you can't set it again. Okay, I'll show you how to build one of them. We're gonna speed the process up a little because at this point I assume that you are familiar with how to make the inverter. If you're not, <laughs> just go a few minutes back in the video. Okay, so you wanna start off with making an instant inverter. And you basically just make two of these mirrored. So, shouldn't be too hard. Dust, dust. A block here. That should be about it. Just a piston here. Okay, that's the first one. The only thing that you want to note here is that you want to have, instead of just one down here, you want it to go up one. And that is for the sake of powering the repeater later. Anyhow, that's the first one. Then what you want to do from here on is you want to place a piston. And then on one diagonal, uh, but powering the piston, you want a uh, redstone block. And then when it's extended, you want a piston on the front of that. You want to turn around and put a piston down that can push that in. The redstone block, that is. And yeah. Then from here on, you want the output of your second uh, one of these to go into here. So you just mirror this entire thing and connect it here too. And the way you would do that would be through like this, there we go, and now you just build the exact same thing again. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast, it's not really meant to be a tutorial, it's just going to be a little bit of a showcase and semi how-to. Then all you want to do now is add the piston for this one down down and then you want to do the exact same thing you did over here but mirrored on this end it is completely mirrored in a in every single way possible and there you have it this is now an instant rs knowledge you can set it and reset it Okay everyone, so thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then make sure to like. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe and hit that, hit that bell icon. And links are in the description, Facebook, Reddit, and Twitter. Leave comment for any sort of feedback, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.